All right, guys, we're back with the Divas Championship match. Paige is coming out to the ring right now. I kind of hope that they get like a good 10 minutes, considering I think there are only two matches left. No, no, there are three. But we only have, or we have like an hour and 40 minutes left on the show. Plus, it's on the network, so I could go a little over. Right, right. Uh, this, no, we've got this, Rusev Cena, Barrett Ambrose, and then the Brian Reigns match. Right. Anything else? No, dude. I think you covered it all. So I'm hoping this gets 10 minutes. I mean, we already had one title change earlier tonight when Team Uppercats won the tag titles. Oh, it sounds so good. Yeah. But no other titles are going to change other than that and the Divas. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. Ambrose isn't winning and Cena's not winning the title, even though he might win. Although he might win the title, so I shouldn't say that. I don't know. I don't know things, John. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. But This is really, why they're previewing predictions, not what's going to happen with your prophet Ashton. Exactly. But uh, I, I just brought out the tag titles just to make the point that, you know, titles quarterly are changing hands on this show. Yay, we have a continue that trend. Yep. Sorry. No, it's all right. She looked, um, you know, stole Rosebud's costume and everybody was freaking out over it. Can't say I blame them. She looked adorable. As usual. Did they just call her Stone Cold Page? If they did, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I don't either. I don't know if they did, though. Here we go. And we know recently, if you want to talk about things that are actually interesting in the division... Uh, Charlotte and Paige having a little Twitter feud. I know. I hope Charlotte shows up. That would Paige wins the title and Charlotte shows up. Triple threat at Mania. Honestly, I could dig it. In fact, oh, right? I mean, I would personally want Nikki to try and use her rematch on Raw. This way we could just get it down one-on-one, -on -one, Charlotte versus Paige. No, but, uh, gotta have your daily dose of Total Divas in there. Of course, Nikki would have to be involved, and I don't mind. She would, she would be a good addition to the match. I think. Well, I mean, by all technicalities, dude, you would get your daily dose of Total Divas. Paige is a part of the show. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like the the cookie cutter Total Divas. Right, I see what you're saying. Which pretty much just kind of boils down to the both both the Bellas and Eva Marie. Oh uh, yeah, Eva Marie. <laughs> yeah, she's still a thing. Uh, my friend James just chimed in. He said, apparently Lillian announced it as a WWE Women's Championship match. Oh, and he said, interesting. He said, you're a few years late on that, but I would love Or that maybe was she's a few months early. Maybe. Oh, see what <laughs> okay. I did there? <laughs> Look at Ashton flipping the script. Yeah. Uh, oh, come on, Nikki. Oh, Jesus. Nikki just rolled out of the ring and plopped on the floor. Well, Nikki's kind of a hypocrite. She used Bray as a shield there, and yet one of the parts of her brand is being called fearless. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's the point. Shut up, Bray. None of your cheering and cheerleading's gonna do anything. <laughs> oh, that was a cool move. She caught her, uh, caught her with the knee strikes and slammed her face into the ground. That was nice. What do you call it? Scouting. Yeah. See, to me, scouting is watching football players and picking out which ones will be good in the NFL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on, well, I said on preview predictions that, uh, you know, I, I really do hope that Paige wins. I could see Nikki retaining, though. In fact, I even said that on tweet. I was probably going to win with that right hand of hers. But, man, I would pop so bad. I mean, not as bad as... How lame would it be if Paige lost to a freaking right hook again? I know. God, I hate that. That's such a dumb freaking finisher. At least the rack attack has the look of a professional wrestling finisher. Right, right. And, like, the big show's knockout punch... Even though a lot of people still complain about it, it's believable because he's the freaking big show. Exactly. And as he always likes to uh, say to everybody and amuse himself with, who's going to stand up to a giant? <laughs> who's going to eliminate a giant? <laughs> Except everyone. <laughs> I'm seven feet tall. I'm almost 500 pounds. Who's going to throw me over the top rope? Oh, I don't know, Big Show. Maybe it would be a little bit more difficult if your center of gravity wasn't above the top <laughs> rope. 
<laughs> and you know, it probably would help your case if history wasn't on our side. Yeah. Have you ever won a Royal Rumble? <laughs> no. How many have you been in? Eleven. Oh yeah, that's a great record. <laughs> next one's the only one. What does that even mean, Big Show? I don't know, but I'm gonna win the next one. All of these old timers cramping my style, even though I'm in my forties. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I what think I think Nikki's head was meant to collide with the bottom turnbuckle. I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right, but someone botched. I'm not even going to try and say who because I don't want to point fingers when I don't know. Right. Now Paige with the clotheslines. Yeah, Scream okay. upcoming. And there yeah. it was. Good call. Yeah. Kick, kick. Nice kick to the face. Yeah, ruin that Bella brand. <laughs> I hate that term so much. I know, and I'm just going to start referring to everything that they do to maintain what they stand for as the Bella brand. You're including their, <laughs> their faces and their bodies, pretty much. That Nikki Bella booty, the trademark of the Bella brand. <laughs> and of course, the fearless thing and the Brie mode thing. Oh, God, which they're heels! Which Rampage! Oh, of course you Which is that. hilarious too, because like the they even said on the show, "Oh, the Bella brand is a significantly better money operation than the Fearless brand or the Brie Mode brand." So, <laughs> what horrible people marketers are! I know, and they're just the worst, the scum of the earth, really. <laughs> well, I don't know how we got here, but it's good to know. They're always just, oh, well, I, you know what? I'm not even going to go into it. Just go look up Bill Hicks marketing. Yeah, just stop your local marketers, everyone. Oh, what is this? What's going That's on cool. here? Nice little kick to the face. They're getting time, John. They're getting time. I yeah, see that. About to get a roll up. Oh, they're on the top rope. Weird finish. Oh, we're going to get a sunset flip, sunset flip. She's holding on. No, she's not. Oh, but power I think bomb. With power in there. Nice yeah, there's power bomb. Kick out a... I almost called Paige AJ. Oh, my God. What's wrong with me? Kick out Paige. Yeah. And she does, because she's an NXT woman, and NXT women can kick out of power bombs. And I'm going to look like an idiot in a few minutes when she can't kick out of a forearm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? And now Nikki is just kind of slamming her head up to the ground, to the mat. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! Water. Get in! Hook it in! Get in! Hook it in! She's going to get it! Oh, my God, Yes! She's got it! Are we going to get a DQ? I have this weird feeling that Bree's going to interfere, but I guess not. No, she's she going to get to the rope? She might get to the rope. Pull her back! Get the arms, damn it! <laughs> yeah! You've almost got it! Hook it in! Come on, Paige! She's going to get the ropes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Nikki, Nikki's definitely winning now. There, yeah. She could... Hey, man, she still has the rampage in her back pocket. And the page turner, which I feel like we haven't seen. She never even wins anything anymore, unfortunately. Uh, uh. That's probably it. One, yeah, two, it. yeah. <sighs> Come on, Paige. I, oh, you know. <laughs> what, what was I saying about a roll-up again? Oh, uh, yeah. Did she even hit the forearm? No. Nope. How did she win with the roll-up then? I like, what set up the roll-up? I just, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, oh, actually, I do know. Paige's face got introduced, I think, to the bottom turnbuckle or just the corner, and she got caught. Oh, my. But, but Paige is acute. As Paige is saying, Nikki oh, had, she the, had tights. the tights. So this, this feud's going to continue, I suppose. Honestly, and here's my thing, guys. Say what you will about the Bellas and, and, and all this stuff. I, I think we could at least celebrate to a degree that we may get a one-on-one -on -one Divas Championship match with Mania if we do Nikki Bella versus Paige again. It probably won't be, but if it is, I would honestly see that as cause for celebration a little bit. It's at least to be. A I freak. just hate that the Divas always freaking lose to roll-ups. Yep. yep, and there you see, yeah, hands on tights. Well, it's a smooth finish, but I don't like the the roll-up thing. Although I guess. You're not going to win with a roll-up if you don't get the tights in that situation. So I guess it's acceptable. Right. Come on, Charlotte's music hit, please. Dang it. Gosh. All right, guys. 
Well, that was a thing. Uh, seems like it went on for... Oh, it got close to 10 minutes. It was like 9 and some change. So, uh, not bad, not bad. I have gotten 10 minutes. I'm not sure. So, yeah, we're getting a, we're getting a little bit of a, a step up. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully this trend continues. John, any last thoughts before I close off the recording for our next match? Absolutely not. I think you hit every nail on the head, brother. All right, we'll see you guys for the next one. Hopefully it's uh, Intercontinental Championship.